Quattro F55. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tia Tobacco, and today I'm looking at this small batch stick from Aging Room, so let's get to it. So today I'm looking at the Aging Room Quattro F55 small batch, though don't know how small of a batch it was since they've been out for like six years and they're still readily available, so not sure how small batch. <laughs> Maybe it was a small batch at the time of this one. Um, it features a, a Sumatra wrapper. Uh, it is a nice box press for this particular one. This is the Maestro, which is a 6x52 torpedo. The wrapper has very nice small veins. The seams are almost invisible. They are very tough to, to see. Has a nice chocolatey smell. Very nice. Has a little bit of kind of a fuzzy tooth. Uh, the pack is even, but a little spongy. And it has a typical cap that comes on your torpedoes. Uh, actually it looks like a double cap on the torpedo. Maybe a triple, it's hard to tell. All right, so let's get this cut up and smoking here. And while I'm doing this, be sure to check out my newly formed Patreon page. I hope I can earn your support. Also, you can find me on various social medias that are showing up in the corner. There's also a Discord server that I'm in pretty much all the time if you want to come and hang out and chat. So check those out. So right off the bat here, Draw is very loose, so something to watch for. Hopefully it burns all right. Flavor-wise, you're looking at um, a light chocolate and coffee, and there's a nice bready note in there. Um, also, there is a bit of heat buildup on the back of the palate and on the lips. And a slight white pepper comes with that heat. So I'm going to get smoking this down, and I will update you in a little bit. So about 20 minutes in here, it's actually a relatively fast burner. Um, the ash fell off right before I started recording this and it was about an inch and a half or so. So that's where I am right now, about 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes in, I forgot to look at the clock. Um, am having a little bit of a burn issue, which given the light pack, I'm not super surprised. Um, might get a little bit of tunneling. I'm getting a slight canoeing on one side right here. If it doesn't correct itself, I will have to touch it up. It is following two straight lines, which I think one is the binder line and one I can see is the seam of the wrapper. So I think that's kind of why I'm getting this divergent pattern is just the binders wrapped one way and the uh, wrapper is wrapped the other way. And it's just happened to be right where they all overlap. So there's like four layers of, of uh, there's like two layers of wrapper right here and two layers of binder. So I think that's just why it happens to be burning like that right there. Flavor wise, the heat is really died out. So there's not that heat in the back of the palate anymore. And now it is a, on the draw is a light chocolate uh, with that bready note in there still. And then it devolves into a bit of a coffee note. Very slight sweetness in there as well. On the retrohale, the retrohale is pretty harsh, uh, but it really punches that coffee pretty hard if you happen to do it. So that's kind of where we stand at about the 15, 20 minute mark. Uh, I will update you again in a little while. If you were wondering, that is a 1983 Pontiac Firebird SE behind me. Uh, it is a parts slash project car for whoever wants it. It is for sale right now. Uh, give me a shout if you are interested. All right, so I'm 40 minutes in here. The ash is holding on pretty good. I'm gonna knock it off in a second. I did have to touch up that side. It just did not want to burn. And it's actually starting to lag again on that side. Again, this was a very loosely packed cigar. Um, the smoke is starting to get a little warm, but I'm gonna stick it out for a little bit more to, to see if it kind of stays where it is or if it gets hotter. Flavor-wise, you're still looking at that touch of cocoa, 
in those it's actually kind of more of a burnt coffee note at this point. A little bit of heat has started to creep in to the back of the palate, but it's very slight. Uh, retrohale, super harsh. Uh, so I would suggest uh, pushing out most of the smoke and then just sending a very, very light touch through. It really kicks that coffee even out with a very, very thin amount of smoke. So if you're looking for those notes, you got that there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep uh, smoking this down and I will update you probably at the end of this thing. The hat of the day today, I'm wearing a New Hatton. Um, interesting brand name. It's an interesting hat. It feels like there's a bit of a, I don't know, plasticky liner in there. Um, and it takes a while to break in. I haven't been wearing it a whole lot just because it takes a while. And it's starting to look a little bit better now that it's kind of getting worn a little bit. But something to be aware of, you're just gonna have a bit of a break-in period. All right, so just over an hour in here. Got a little more time out of it than I thought I was going to. Near the end here, I started to smoke it very low and slow just to keep it from getting too hot and uh, I managed to get away with that. Uh, at this point, it is now very hot and uh, it's all mushy and yeah. Um, flavor wise, going into the end here, you still had that light uh, chocolate note and those coffee notes, a little bit of heat build up on the back of the palate. Retro hail still really kicked that coffee pretty hard. Finish still continued out. You have that uh, coffee type of note that then degraded into a slight earthy note, almost a tar note in some times. Um, so that's where we are. The only thing that really changed flavor wise is the draw had a little bit of an effervescence to it, but no flavor to go with that particular feeling. Can't really pin it down on anything specific, but uh, yeah. So there you go. This has been the Aging Room Quattro F55 small batch in their torpedo size, which they call the Maestro. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe. You can also check me out and support me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Links are down in the description. You can see all my social medias below. Links are also down in the description for those. And check out the videos that are showing up over here on the side. And I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.